Welcome to the video where we export Azure Virtual Desktop host pool configurations with the Nerdio Manager for Enterprise PowerShell module. The steps outlined in this video will export the host pool configuration and get the status of session hosts. The example coming up uses the Nerdio PowerShell module and that must be installed to follow along. Also, this is a premium feature. Let's start in PowerShell and verify that the Nerdio module is installed. We'll run the get installed module command, filtering for Nerdio. It shows we have the module installed. Next, we need to connect to the Azure account with the connect AZ account command. We're connected and be sure that the correct subscription is selected. Next, we'll connect to our instance of Nerdio. We need to define some variables to connect to Nerdio. We need the client ID, tenant ID, scope, and client secret to start. We can find these in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise under Settings and Integration. We'll go there now. We'll go to Settings, Integrations, and under REST API, we'll click Show Credentials. You may need to enable REST API first to activate this feature. We'll start by copying the tenant ID. Let's go back to PowerShell and we'll update the variable for tenant ID. We'll go back to Nerdio and we'll do the same for client ID and scope. We also need the client secret. We can't view the secret from this interface. We can regenerate it. Once it's regenerated, we can view the secret. Keep the secret in a secure location such as Azure Key Vault. Once we navigate away from this page, we won't be able to see the value again. If you do regenerate the secret, any other scripts or runbooks that use that secret will need to be updated with the new value. Let's add that value to PowerShell. The last item we need is the URI for the instance of Nerdio Manager for Enterprise that we're working with. Now that we have all the variables defined, let's highlight and run them to add them to memory. The next step is to connect to Nerdio Manager for Enterprise. We can run that command next and it shows we connected successfully. Now that we've connected to our Azure subscription and network manager for enterprise, next we can export the configuration. We need to define a couple more variables. We need to set the subscription ID. You can add that manually or get the value using PowerShell. We need the resource group of the provision session hosts, as well as the host pool name. Let's run those to add them to memory also. Next, we'll run the export NME host pool config command to export the host pool configuration. That exports the configuration to the screen. We can also use the greater than character to add that information to a file. This version of the command uses the host pool name variable to export as a JSON file. Now, if we view our directory and we'll open the JSON file and there's our configuration in JSON format. We can use the Nerdio PowerShell module for other tasks as well. Next, let's use the get NME host pool session host command using the values we've already created to view the status of our session hosts. That returns the status of our session host as a list. Next, let's use the select object command to format our output. Now we have a table view of the session host information. That is how to use the Nerdio PowerShell module to export the host pool configuration and view the status of session hosts.